Hey there YouTube, got another gun review here today. Uh, we're going to be reviewing the Sentry Arms built VZ2008. It's a reproduction of a, v, of a VZ58, a Czech designed assault rifle. Uh, it's got a lot of similarities and a lot of differences between this and the AK-47. and. Uh, a lot of similarities between this and the SKS, the, the Simonov Carbine. Um, we'll start with this assembly and a few points on ergonomics. Uh, got this folding stock here, which makes it convenient if you're carrying it around, uh, like at the shooting range or I don't know, any other reason you'd carry it around. Just makes it a little more compact. Got some of this molded wooden furniture. It's actually like particle board kind of deal. Uh, but it's actually quite it, it's quite comfy. It, it doesn't feel cheap. It, it feels pretty substantial. Even though it's light, it, it doesn't, doesn't feel cheap. Uh, it's very similar to uh, an AK-47 in looks. The, uh, the magazine is different from an AK-47 magazine. It's got this ridge here, but this is this is for part of the follower is actually part of the bolt hold open. What it does when it's empty, the bolt will hold open. It'll push this button here, which will hold the bolt back when you're empty. Another thing that kind of differentiates it is that you can load it with stripper clips. That's super awesome. You can load it with uh, SKS stripper clips. I think that's great. Because I don't know, even really feel a need to, to get more magazines for it. It'd be nice, but when you can load with stripper clips pretty easily, it's all right. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt anything. Um, disassembly and cleaning are really simple. You just pull these two pins here. That pin over the gas tube. And this pin on the bolt cover and it just all comes apart and it's it's that it's that simple I mean that was quick and that's a full field strip cleaning and it's just as easy to put back in um, for the sentry build the receiver and the barrel are actually new production they're not surplus they're built in America uh, from, you know, in American factories. Uh, it's pretty solid. Just about every, the, the rest of it, the furniture and all that, that's, that's all Czech surplus. As well as the bolt carrier, it's, the bolt group is Czech surplus. It does this neat rocking. I'm not sure really about the mechanics of it, how it works, why it does that, but it's just kind of neat that it does in my opinion. Uh, reassembly takes a little more uh, finesse, you might say. You see? See, I had trouble there. There we go. pretty simple. I, I do have a few other qualms with it. This is thin, this furniture here, which means that after you shoot about 100 rounds, it gets hot, hot to the touch, quite hot. Uh, also, the folding stock is not very comfortable when you put your cheek on it. 
and you're shooting about 30 rounds, your, your cheek starts to hurt. I've been thinking of putting some foam or something around that, but then it wouldn't fold as easy. I don't know. Kind of a give and take there. But it's a solid gun. It's accurate. It's much more accurate than I am. And uh, that's about all I've got to say. It's a good gun. I suggest you get one. They're at a very, very affordable price. Uh, I think I paid about $370 for this oh, online. An online retailer had it shipped to a firearms dealer. Uh, great. Something else about it before I end. It's got the muzzle brake just like an AK-47. You can use AK-47 muzzle brakes on it. It's got that scalloped angled muzzle brake that really I'm not sure how much it helps but it's supposed to help. Um, the sights Another thing, the, the sight radius is even shorter than an AK-47. I mean, I mean, looky there. That's that's not very much. It's not very much of a sight radius, but which means it's harder to shoot accurately with it. But uh, other than that, I've I've got no complaints. It's a good gun. Peace and love.